Hi everyone welcome to the Travel Stone channel. How's it going my friends? Have you ever heard of strange areas or no one knows less about them? There are areas in the world that are not pariahs, but few of you know about them. Yes, there are countries I'm sure you haven't heard of. Let me show you some of them. Watch the end and subscribe to the channel. Let's go. One, Turkmenistan. Just like its other standmates, Turkmenistan in Central Asia is not a place commonly found on the top of your standard traveler's itinerary. It is an intriguing, culturally rich nation of contrasts, with fascinating history, beautifully vast deserts, and architecture that takes your breath away. Ashgabat, Turkmenistan's capital city, is unique, mysterious, and little bit weird. Dotted throughout the streets are oversized gold statues of the bizarre dictator who ruled the nation up until 2006, while bold, colorful landmarks and countless white marble buildings populate the skyline. In fact, the city boasts the world record for most white marble buildings in the world. Despite this opulence and luxury, the city is strangely and, at times, eerily sparse of people. For a cultural adventure you won't forget, pay a visit to Ashgabat's Russian Bazaar. Located in the center of the city, it's one of the largest and oldest bazaars in Turkmenistan. 2. Kiribati If you've heard of Kiribati, bonus points to you. Made up of 33 small islands, scattered on both sides of the equator, this little visited Pacific nation is one for the nature lovers and adventurous spirits. What it lacks in five-star luxury and creature comforts, it makes up for in world-class surf breaks, dive and snorkel sites, and game fishing. It's also a sanctuary for birds of the Pacific, so wannabe ornithologists should pack the binoculars. Kiribati was also a huge part of World War II, with many islands home to some of the war's bloodiest battles. History buffs and military enthusiasts will enjoy exploring the relics that are dotted around the islands, such as defense guns, concrete bunkers, and pillboxes. Rusted tanks, shipwrecks, and plane wrecks can also be seen on the shores at low tide. 3. Lesotho Underrated is an understatement for this southern African nation. Nicknamed the Kingdom of the Sky, Lesotho has the highest low point of any country in the world, sitting at more than 1,000 meters. It may be entirely surrounded by South Africa, but the vibe here is far more relaxed than its neighbors. By traditional crafts from the welcoming locals in the lowlands, before traversing the many trails in Lesotho's three national parks. The towering Samonking Falls, as well as amazingly preserved dinosaur footprints are just some of the must-sees. Want to ride horseback? Join one of the guided tours and ride the unnerving mountain trails atop a Basotho pony native to Lesotho. Flights operate daily to Lesotho from Johannesburg, South Africa. Tip, luggage is commonly lost at Lesotho. Be sure to have travel insurance. 4. Comoros. If you're wanting to escape the daily grind and not just follow the very well-trodden footsteps of thousands of others bound to Bali or Fiji, why not give Comoros a go? Located off the coast of East Africa, this tiny island nation, for islands actually, is for those wanting to really fall off the radar a while. Like, we're talking Tom Hanks castaways vibes. While there's a definite lack of infrastructure, in other words, you'll be roughing it, Comoros offers adventure in its truest form, with incredible diving, trekking through lush, dense rainforest, and snorkeling off white sandy beaches. Oh, and did we mention the active volcanoes? 5. Kyrgyzstan. Located in Central Asia, this country sits between China and Kazakhstan and has a stunningly beautiful landscape with a rich nomadic tradition. One of the most beautiful places to visit in the country is Lake Sarichelek, which is wedged within a lush green valley. This small landlocked country has a long history of semi-autonomy. They eventually gained their independence in 1991 with the dissolution of the USSR. The best time to visit is between July and September to avoid freezing temperatures and the heaviest rain. 6. Brunei On the island of Borneo sits a small country called Brunei. It is located on the north coast and surrounded by Malaysia. 
Brunei is ruled by King Hassan al Bolkiah, whose family has ruled the country for the past six centuries. Their cultural apex was between the 15th and 17th centuries when they controlled large coastal areas. Brunei is home to nine mountain peaks that range from 775 feet to 3,772 feet and many forest reserves for the hiker and adventurer. While you're visiting, you can catch a baseball game at Sultan Hassan al Bolkiah Stadium or spend part of your day checking out the Malay Technology Museum. If you'd like to visit the country, the best times to go are between October and February, as the rest of the year is extremely hot and humid. 7. Vanuatu Vanuatu can be found in the South Pacific Ocean. It was settled more than 3,500 years ago and was visited by the legendary explorer James Cook in 1774. If you decide to visit the island like Cook, you can explore beautiful beaches and waterfalls, snorkel or scuba dive shipwrecks, hike them to Yasser and eat at exotic and exciting restaurants. The best time to travel to the island is between May and October. There are many festivals and sporting contests going on between these months. 8. Abkhazia In terms of the characteristics that define a country, Abkhazia has its own borders, a distinct ethnic population, a functioning government, a military, a national bank, and its own passports. Nonetheless, to over 90% of the world, it's still looked upon as a province of Georgia the country it fought for independence from in a bloody war during the early 90s. Historically, Abkhazia has been more or less an independent nation for over 1,000 years. Between the 9th century and 1008 AD, it operated as a sovereign kingdom before being incorporated as part of Georgia and then later Russia. When the USSR collapsed, the citizens of Abkhazia declared a return to their medieval borders, a movement which sparked a ferocious war with Georgia that resulted in large-scale ethnic cleansing on both sides. To avoid the fighting, most Georgians have since fled Abkhazia, while most Abkhazians have fled Georgia. Abkhazia declared itself an independent state in 1999, and they continue to uphold that claim today. 9. Azerbaijan Resting between Eastern Europe and Western Asia, but belonging to neither, Azerbaijan is known as a transcontinental presidential republic. The country is very rich in oil and has an imperial history dating back to 4000 BC. Azerbaijan has many amazing historical sites you can visit, including Maiden's Tower and Khan's Palace. The best time to go is between April and June when the flowers are beginning to bloom. 10. Mayotte This island name isn't even registered in the word processor dictionary it is so unknown. In 1843 France gained control of the island. It remains under French rule to this day. Mayotte is known to be an expensive place to stay, but if money isn't your concern, you can have an amazing trip snorkeling, sailing, diving and relaxing on white sand beaches. It's best to visit between June and November. Thank you for watching, give me your opinion on the channel's content. Subscribe to the channel to watch more. Goodbye.